Um, hello, friends. How are you today? Good. Um, I just come today with to you with something which uh, uh, make me laugh. It's about Dr. Zakir as usual. Um, there is a, a Muslim girl is asking him about uh, a question that whether the Quran was written by Satan, the devil, or not. I mean, how do you know? That's a question. And he's a replying. Let's let's listen and um, uh, make our conclusion. Let's let's listen him first. He replied to a non-Muslim who says that Quran is written by a Satan. Thank you. Uh, Muslim replied, Quran is not written by Satan. Satan is not written by Quran. mention in Surah Nahal, chapter 16, verse number 98, that when you recite the Quran, say, Auz Billahi Minash Shaitan Rajeem. Why will Satan write in his own book that whenever you recite my book, say, I seek refuge with Allah from Satan the accursed. Why will Satan write in his own book? Why will he curse himself in his own book? Further, if you read Quran, says in Surah Araf, chapter 7, verse number 200, that whenever you get a message from Satan, Seek refuge with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Why will the Satan himself write in his own book that when you hear a message from me, you go and seek refuge with Allah. And for the Satan, Allah is an avowed enemy. All right. Uh, let's see what uh, Satan is and how si how Satan, the devil, works. Uh, let's see from the Bible and then uh, we'll look at the, the Quran. And I have a question for Dr. Zakir. We read in the in, in the book of John, the Gospel of John 44, Jesus Christ is talking about Satan. You are the, about the people who are uh, the religious people of that time, the Jews. Uh, uh, Jesus was speaking to them. Let's read. You are of the, your father, the devil. You want to do the, the desire of your father. He was a murderer from the beginning and does not stand in in the truth because there is no truth in him whenever he speaks a lie he speaks from his own nature for he is a liar and the father of lies that's the nature of the devil the devil is a liar and the father of lies that's his job that's his job the job of the devil is lying to people deceiving people uh, you know, uh, he is using all means to bring people into the, uh, the into destruction and into his uh, uh, kingdom, you know, to bring them into his kingdom. We read uh, 2 Corinthians 11, 3. But I fear, lest by any means, as a serpent beguiled Eve through, Eve through his sub, sub, subtlety, so your mind should be corrupted from the simplicity that is in Jesus Christ. So he's telling them, you don't be simple. They're going to be, uh, you know, uh, uh. he's cunning to deceive you. He's a deceiver. He deceived the woman and now he is ready to deceive you. But you don't have to be simple. You have to um, uh, stand up and fight the devil. Um, 2 Corinthians uh, chapter 11 verses 13 to 15 for as for such are false apostles deceitful workers transforming themselves into the apostles of Christ these are the nature of false prophets false workers for false miracle workers who uh, just work for the kingdom of the devil and no marvel wonder do not wonder you know do not marvel for satan himself is transformed into an angel of light he transforms himself into an angel of light it is difficult to differentiate between the angel of light and the devil because he transforms himself his 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 thing is deceitful he deceits he is a cunning one. He deceives people to the utmost. 
He is a master deceiver. So, we can know that he, he is not like a, um, we know that the, the devil is not a foolish clown and go around and try to just, you know, make something which doesn't make sense. But he is a master deceiver. He tries to deceive people by any means, by any means. And he transforms himself into an angel of light. Therefore, it is no great thing if his ministers also be transformed as the ministers of light, righteousness, whose end shall be according to their work. So God will reward them. But they are deceivers. They are deceitful. So the, the nature of the devil is deceitful. He is a deceiver. Now we go to uh, Revelation chapter 12 verse um, 9. Revelation book of the book of Revelation chapter 12 verse 9. And the great dragon was cast out that old serpent that's the devil called the devil and Satan Satan which deceives the whole world he was cast out into the earth into the earth and his angels were cast out with him so he was thrown into the uh, down into the earth to deceive mankind he is a deceiver who deceives the whole world come on the devil deceives the whole world he is you know the master deceiver that's his nature oh we know the, the devil says in the name of um, uh, uh, I take refuge in Allah well that's the way of deception he is not going to say all kind of negative things against something uh, Allah or anything is a if he is a deceiver he has to deceive that way that's the way he deceives people now let's go to the Quran and see but they the Jews were deceptive and Allah was deceptive what Allah was deceptive for Allah is the best of the deceivers Wow Wamakaru Wamakara Allahu wa Allahu Khaira Al Makarina that's Surah Sri Quran Sri 54 Quran Sri 54 look is a deceiver he says I'm a deceiver I mean if Allah is God why he has to be deceiving other people why he has to be deceiving that's is that his nature I mean why why I mean if people are deceiver has God their God be also be a has to be a deceiver if I mean that's the people nature if they deceive to try to deceive Allah that's the nature of the people why then he also is a deceiver why a deceiver is a very very negative negative connotation it has negative connotation it's not good the best of the deceivers is according to the the Bible this is like the description of the devil the description of the devil and let's see another another verse are they then secure from Allah's deception makara Allahi mak makra Allahi none uh, deems himself secure from Allah's deception Makra Allahi, say folks that perish. Quran um, 799. Quran 799. He says, Allah is a deceiver. He's deceiving people. I mean, why? Why to my Muslim friends, I have a question. Why Allah has to be a deceiver? If the dece deception belongs to the devil, why he has to inherit the uh, the 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 very nature of the devil to um you know uh to work to to deal with the people to deal with the people who are deceived by the by, by the devil so if you know we can conclude from here in a, and then uh, another uh, uh also you can add the quran uh 53 uh 
17 to 21 that uh, uh, they call it the satanic verses and the satanic verses that uh, 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 Muhammad was commanding the people to worship al uza al mana al uza allat and manat three of the idols and they call it the satanic verses why i mean how come you say it is not from satan satan the devil uh, or shaitan and when we see all this kind of things in the quran and in the hadith so the thing is everything is just a, <laughs> a joke it's a joke if we consider it if we see it i don't believe that the quran was written by by god i don't believe because this is these verses and other verses are the witness that it is not from god thank you um and i want to hear from especially from muslims and i want to know uh, about this thing thank you and take care bye